I'm acknowledging you this morning because of the conversation we had yesterday. And just let mom encourage you that it's going to be all right. It is already all right. It is already all right. Amen. You got the victory over whatever it is that the Lord is saying. Amen. Amen. And you are in my heart this morning, all the time, but especially this morning because of the conversation we had yesterday. God bless you, my love. I love you very much. And you've got the victory. Hold on to it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rest the Lord today. Grateful to the Lord. Thank you. 
Yes. Pristine then. You know, we, we are living in, in, in perilous times. Mm -hmm. Or I should say perilous times is going in the way. And we recognize it. How many recognize that perilous time yes. is on the way? Yes, yeah. And um, I've been saying, or I have said in the last month or so, yes, that um, Jesus, God, is getting ready yes, to do great work yes. among yes. us. Can you feel? We can feel his presence. That is not by accident. And since we have really made this transition, it's amazing. You come down here and and God lives here. You can feel him when you walk in the door. Amen. And Sister Dana were down here yesterday. And Sister Penny called me last night. She said, it's so peaceful. It's so peaceful in there, Pastor. It's something special. Amen. And, and, and in order for us to be prepared to do what God wants us to do or is set, has set us aside to do, we um we need that peace. We need the peace of God to dwell with us. We need his presence to dwell with us. We need to feel him at all times. I I've been hearing testimonies about um people praying and God answering. Sister Glenda testified this morning that she prayed and God answered. Sister, Sister Cherie testified that God, she prayed and God answered. And, and she, she taught an awesome class this morning. Those of you who were not on, on the Zoom or those of you who were not able to hear her this morning, go to the website and listen to her talk about the favor yes, yes, yes. of God. Do you know that you're favored? Yes, thank you, Lord. Yeah. We're favored. Mm -hmm. We're favored. God has granted us favor. And um, in my spirit, I I recognize in a greater way than ever before that God is getting ready to use us. And there, there's a preparation period for mm -hmm. God requires us to prepare ourselves to be used by him. So that's why I'm getting ready in, a, in a, another service or two to tell you when we're going to fast. Amen? Because if the presence of God dwells in here, this house that he has blessed us with. That's how you know that it is his blessing because his blessings make us rich and adds no sorrow. And this blessing is making rich, not only in a natural way, but in a spiritual way because we are free to come in and worship God with freedom without worrying about anybody looking over our shoulders. We just, we just know that God is here. And he's the only one looking down at us. We don't have no negativity coming to the door and looking at their watch. And, mm. and we don't have to come in on Sunday mornings and um, get a note that we're supposed to be out mm. at a certain time. And, and when we are not, if we run a few minutes late, we are almost escorted out. So, so that is to me, that is a rich blessing. It is a rich blessing and so I'm grateful. So in order for us to, to get to the place spiritually, 
where God can use us in the way that he has shown me that he wants to use us. And I know that some of you have seen it also and have an idea of what God is going to do in greater light. Um, we must prepare ourselves. Yes, Lord. So we are going to go on a fast and I will announce that and we are going to have a shut-in. Amen. Those of us who would like to come in and this, this, we can be accommodated. Actually, you know, the men can be upstairs and the sisters downstairs. So we all can come together and pray and seek after God the way he wants us to seek after him so he can ignite the flame within us and it will start burning even at a greater a greater dimension, it, it, it will yeah. spring up in us. Hallelujah, the song writes, spring up, oh well, within my soul, spring up, oh well. And so with all of that said, in order to accomplish God's purpose for us in this time, we must walk in the spirit. Yeah. We have to walk in the spirit so that we don't second guess ourselves, yeah. Sister Felicia. When the spirit of the Lord speaks to us, then we can move immediately because we are without a doubt that that is God. The Bible says, my sheep knows my voice and yeah. another they will not follow. Yeah. So yeah. we are going to be so spiritually in tune with what God wants us to do yeah. that we will move when he speaks. We will recognize him. Yeah. Hallelujah. You, when he Lord. speaks and we will be about what he desires for us to do. I am grateful to the Lord this morning. So my scripture My scripture, one of them this morning, is, is taken from Galatians chapter 5, where two verses, three verses, um, 16 through 18. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye, ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one, these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Verse 25 says, If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Amen? Amen. As, as human beings, you may be seated, thank you. As human beings, we have a nature which all of us are born with. This human nature is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. And so, in order to do the work of the Father, or to do his will, we have to be changed. Amen? 
There's so much, there's so many things. I was listening to a sermon um, a couple of days ago, and it, the subject of it is, it's, it's Bishop Noel Jones. He preached the sermon. It says, when you're going to let it go. <laughs> if you get a chance, Google it. And it's by Bishop Jones, when you're going to let it go. And I, I thought about that. We have so many things that we hold on to that isn't necessary. The back, it's their back is baggage. We yes, carry yes, unnecessary yes. baggage. And so they're, they're challenging for us. But we are born again. And this sermon was not based on what he was saying. I'm not going to re-preach this or try even to talk about some of the things he talked about. But in the sermon, he talked about himself. And, and um, I, I'm encouraging us this morning, mm -hmm. let it go. Mm -hmm. Yesterday is gone. Everything that happened yesterday is gone. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Why do we hold on to it? Notice I said we. Why do we hold on to it? We are born again. We are washed. We have been, we have been cleansed. Yes. We are made new. Why do we hold on to some of the things that we hold on to? We are determined to hold on to it. And we know it's a negative, but yet we, 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 we work with it. And it's gone. We can't, I cannot go back yesterday. No matter how I tried, when Lincoln was was on my case to bring him down to the church so he could practice on the drums. And I told that boy no, and he kept bugging me. Oh, take peace, come on. Why do we have a church if I can't go down there and practice? And he gave me all the reasons why I should bring him. And I didn't want to come. I ended up coming, Sister Petty. And you know how tired I was, but I came just to, for it to stop annoying me and, and or, or, you know, pleading with me. But as I cannot go back to yesterday and not do it or undo what, what I did, I can't. So it's gone. So today is another day. New mercy. Thank you, Jesus. New love. New excitement, new spirit, new, new everything. It's a new day. So let's lay aside, as the apostle said, lay aside everything, the weight and the sin that that so easily beset us, and let us press forward and run the race with patience that is set before us, looking unto Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are new creatures. Everything is new. <laughs> the Spirit of the Lord came upon us, and we are now new. This, I'm going to read Ezekiel chapter 36. Ezekiel chapter 36. Yes, Lord. Listen to this. We were 
were, we were, we were sinners. We were without a hope. And God came, Jesus came to live in our life. It says for in verse 26, a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit. Wow. Yes. We read it again. And I will put my spirit within you yeah. and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. Mm -hmm. My goodness, Deacon yeah. Stevens. A new spirit. The old man is crucified. The old man is gone. A new heart. A heart that trusts God. A heart that is favored as if I Deaconess Cherry spoke. When he put his spirit in us, that's favor. You talking about favor? That's the highest favor that we can receive. Is a heart to follow in the ways of Christ. A new heart. We are new. Yes. To put it another way, the Holy Ghost that God has given us Ooh, glory. Amen. has established a newness in us, a power in us. He rules in us. He lives in us. We are favored. We, our lives is, is, is different. Our, our lives are, all of us, we are different anyway. Yeah. But we can be more so yeah, rooted and grounded yeah. oh, in God. Ooh, yeah. Because he has taken us, he's cleansed us from the old Adamic nature and he's placed himself in us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are favored by him. His grace and mercy rules in us. He becomes the ruling principle of our lives. That which is born of spirit is spirit. That which is born of flesh is flesh. But the flesh part of us doesn't rule. Somebody say, Mom, yeah, what are you talking it. about? We are, we are not anymore living after the flesh. I heard, I heard this morning that if you just acknowledge him, yeah. I heard Sister Sherry said, quit complaining. <laughs> you, we have nothing to complain about. Because we have a different power, yes, 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 a yes, different yes, yes. ruling force, Glory a different God. ruling principle, yes. a different, a different attitude. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. Ruling our lives, we are not governed by the things of the world. Mm -hmm. We are not. Mm -hmm. If we're walking in the precepts of Christ. If he is ruling in us, yeah. Yeah. we're born of spirit, right? Oh, come on. Yes. 
And the Bible says, he who is born of the Spirit is Spirit. That which is begotten of the Spirit of Christ has the nature of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do you feel it? Glory. We, we are not walking after the Adamic nature, the yeah. nature of, of, of the world, the nature of the devil, the nature of Jesus. sin, the nature of despair, the nature of confusion, wow. the nature of, of depression, wow. the nature, I hate to hear saints say I'm depressed. Why are we depressed? Because God lives in us and the spirit of Christ doesn't get depressed. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. We are begotten. The nature of the spirit lives in us. We are born again. Anybody born again? We are born again. In the name of Jesus. We need to put on our mirrors somewhere. I am born again. Yes, God. Yes, God. I am no longer of this world. Come on. I am just passing through. Yes. I'm an ambassador. I just, I'm just here to tell the world that Jesus lives. I'm just here to tell the world that you can be free. I'm just there to tell the world that you can be happy. Ah. Hallelujah. Thank you, yes, Jesus. Jesus. Born again, born of the water. And the spirit, the water and the spirit. And I would venture to say all of us in here are born of the water and the spirit. Hallelujah. It constitutes a new birth. Yes, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The new birth that we are experienced or that we have experienced is not by our faith. It is caused by the new birth, which is, which is the faith of Christ. That God has, has died so we can have, we have, we can only come to him if he draws us. Right. Sister Felicia, you have your Bible? Somebody find me because it's too difficult for me to go back and forth. Somebody find me, jump. It, it's marked there. You oh. can look. Mm -hmm one of those little papers that you see on the edge. Uh, I have St. John chapter 6. Thank you, Jesus. No one can come to the Son unless the Father draws them. You can only come to Jesus if he draws you. Read it for me because somebody don't believe that. Forty-four. Let's see what it says. John six forty-four. Here. Yes. No one. No man can come to me except the Father. Then read it again. Amen. No man can come to me except the Father, which have sent me. Uh huh. Draw him, mm. and I will raise him up at the last day. Well, <laughs> yes. Do you recognize how privileged you are? No man can come to him oh. unless he draws them. He has drawn us. Amen. We are special. Yes, Lord. We are favored. Yes. Because if he don't draw, you can't come. You wonder why some people out there don't want to hear nothing about God. Nothing about this Jesus. Nothing about his power. Nothing about his love. Nothing. Because they're not drawn. So you are privileged. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God sought after you. He sought you and he found you and he drew you with his cord of love and his grace reached out to you and his mercy keeps us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a great.
glorious privilege. You see me stand up here sometimes and cry. I have to contain myself because I recognize the privilege that I have to be drawn of this great, big, wonderful God. Look down from his throne in glory. And he said, come here, Joyce Walters. I want you, girl. Come here, Willie Morales. I want you. My God, what a privilege. What a privilege to have the experience of the new birth. It's an experience, saints. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. It's a favor. The grace of God is an unmerited favor, favor that we don't deserve. He counts us worthy. Ooh, we are counted worthy to be a child of the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. The new birth. My God then we should strive. We should recognize how privileged we are. And then with that, we should strive. We should do everything in our power. And we are powerful. We are powerful because God lives in us. My God, he does. Can you feel him? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We should strive to walk in the spirit. The spirit that he gave us. We are privileged. I can't say that enough. We are privileged to have his favor. When Sister Sherry was teaching this morning, I said, oh God, there goes my sermon. <laughs> we have favor. My God. And he, 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 he blesses us. Saints, great man, in order to do what he intends for you, us, to do, we got to start walking in the spirit. We have to set aside the things of the flesh. This is not going to inherit anything. Cute as we are, and some of us can be cute. There's nothing wrong with being cute. Me, number one. I love to look cute, but I recognize that all flesh is grass. I, I, I didn't reach out and find that scripture, but the Bible says all flesh is grass. The grass withered the flower fadeth right. you you i do garden some of you do garden go out there and cut down a limb and see what happens the next morning when brother willie comes to mow my grass most of the time and he, he sometimes he he, he when in mowing the lawn some of the grass will go on the concrete okay two hours after he's gone the grass start withering. Less than that sometimes, depends on how hot it is out there. You see, you look out on your lawn when you go home, unless even when you water it, the grass turns brown. My grass is brown. The other thing green is there is the dandelions. 
Seriously? The only thing green I can look out and see is green. And I don't like that. I don't like brown grass. Grass is supposed to be green. But the sun comes and it, it scorches it, right? And there's no rain. So that's how we are. That's what we are likened to. All flesh is grass. As the grass, you die, you, guess what? They don't. You, 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 my, I love my husband. God knows I did. I, I didn't worship him, but he was my Lord. And some of you know that. Yes. But when Buddy Hackett died, some of you were in the room when he died. Lots of you were there. And, and you left, and I, and I was there with him. And, and Sister Felicia, I went to hold his hand, and I, held, I went to hold up his hand, and his arm would move. And I thought, oh, my God. When, when Elder Rivers came in the room, he said, Mother, you got to go down there with the rest of them in the waiting room because you can't experience this. Dead as knit. This is a term we use in Jamaica. You're dead as knit. You, you, you're gone. Right? My husband was gone. And I didn't bring him home. I didn't say, no, Elder Rivers, I'm taking him home. They came and, and did what they did and wheeled them out of there. All flesh is grass. This isn't going anywhere. And, and, and I believe he's gone to heaven because he was a righteous man. Amen. He was a holy man. He walked upwards. There's some things you can pay him to do. And he, he loved God's people. But when he was gone, I didn't hear none of y'all saying, Mom, let me take him home with you, with me. All flesh is gone. Grass. I am saying that to make a point. So it's all right to be cute. But remember, the only thing that matters is what you do for Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we live in the spirit, if the spirit of God lives in us, then let us walk in yes. the spirit so that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. And we can move on Hallelujah. to what God wants us to do. Yes, Lord Jesus. And the Bible says, don't misunderstand me. Yes, I know we live down here. And the Bible says, occupy till I come. <laughs> However, while you're occupying, don't forget about Jesus. God gave Evangelist Stubberfield that song a number of years ago. Don't forget the Lord. It's not just about tithes and offering. It's about being a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Since we are so privileged to have God in our lives, He has come to lead and guide us. Sister Felicia, find John 16. It's March 2 also. Since God has come to live in our lives and nothing matters other than serving him and telling somebody about him and setting somebody free, if we're walking in the spirit, the devil himself out of hell can walk in this building and I'm not inviting him. But just in case he decides to decide to walk up in here, the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost that moves and rules in this place yeah. will take control Ooh, yes, Lord. over 
he will leave read it, sister. John 16:13. John 16:13. How it be when he, the Spirit of Truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Amen. If you are walking in him, if you are trusting in him, he will lead us and he will guide us in all truth. He will show us things to come. Yes, Lord. He will, in other words, he will reveal himself to us. He will let us know when the enemy is going to come in like a flood. We, we know. I know. So I know you know, because we got the same spirit. If we're walking in the spirit, God will show you when the enemy is about to attack. And not only will he he stand up for you. He will show you what to do. Yeah. Somebody was talking to me about wanting to know how to cast out demons. And 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 and, and teach a class on it, mom, and tell us how we, the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I can't teach you. That comes through you consecrating yourself and, and walking in the path of the Spirit. And if the enemy has nerve to come and present himself to you, then the Holy Ghost that is within you will lift up the standard against him. Yeah. And show us what to do and how to do it. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes. I can't teach you that. I can't. I, I'm not going to stand here and tell you, yes, come, let me teach you. No, I can't. Glory, hallelujah. Only the Spirit yeah. of God can move in you and tell you, do this. And it will. Yeah. Do that. Go get this. Go get some of that. Yeah. Get your oil. Get some whatever you need at that time. Uh -huh. right. It will show you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Some of you in here know what I'm talking about. It will show you yes. what to do. It will lead you in all truth. Yes. It will help you yes. and it will give you freedom. Because yes. you're not walking in the flesh. You can't walk in the flesh and fight no demons. I don't know where that is coming from. But I'm telling you the truth that God loves. You cannot yes. walk in the flesh and fight no demons. Yes. Can you, Sister Tracy? Nope. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Ask me, I know. Yes, Lord. You got we got to get ourselves together, saints. Yeah. We got to be, we, we've got to stand, we've got to walk, we've got to act, we've got to, we've got to let the spirit take control of our lives. Yes, so that when old Slufu comes in like a flood, yeah. we don't have to second guess. Oh, is that God telling me to do that? Ah. We will know his voice. Yes, and our spirit will make connection with him. You see, some of us forget that the spirit in us is connected to the spirit of God yes. and make connection. And the spirit will make intercession for us with the spirit. And the spirit and I will become one. That's what we will be striving for is the spirit, our spirit, and God's spirit will become one and the flesh will be subdued and subject to the power and the spirit of Almighty God. And the spirit of God will guide us. Excuse me. The spirit of God will guide us 
into all truth. Yes, Lord. It will free us. Yeah. Tell the devil, I used to preach. I don't know if you remember. I used to preach. I used to tell the devil, come on, devil. You want to fight? Let's fight. Because greater is he that is within me than you, Satan. will guide your life. The spirit of God will guide your life. It's not enough to speak in tongues. It's not enough to speak in tongues. And I, I intercede with my spirit. Intercede with the spirit of God. The spirit that is within me. Intercede with the higher power. The higher power lives in me so they become one and we communicate. Yes, Lord. But that's not enough to speak in tongues. Because we can speak in tongues and the devil can speak in tongues. You don't believe me? He got his own tongues. And you got to be able to discern which tongues it is that's speaking. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. The spirit of God in us. If somebody comes in here, you remember them people that came to, to when we were about five, six years, longer than that. And they came in and they were jibber jabbering. And the Holy Ghost will stir up in us and let us know that ain't God. Amen. You can tell the spirit of God will let you. That is not God. You remember them folks that came to, to greater life when we were in, in the church up there? Them more crazy people. Excuse me, they were because they were coming in there with a different spirit and thought they were going to have some effect on us. Are you kidding me? Well, you remember Mother Smith? Come in there with all, all, all that foolishness. In the name of Jesus. We got to Learn how to speak the name of Jesus and let it be effective. Yeah. You can say Jesus, yeah, Jesus, but when you say Jesus from the Spirit, yeah. the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost that lives within you go forth. The Holy Ghost you. speaking in tongues is evidence oh, that the Holy Ghost lives in us and we can communicate with God through it. But the Holy Ghost is the spirit of Almighty God. Yes, Don't be mistaken. Hallelujah. The tongues is the evidence right. that the Holy Ghost has come yes, and you have power. But the Holy Ghost is God yeah. himself yeah. Yeah. living in us. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Isn't that the flame within us? We must understand. In the spirit, we have to live in the spirit, we have to follow the word as it is. Read your Bible, the little song says, Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. God sent Himself, Jesus, help us to get it. God Almighty sent Himself, the Spirit of Himself. We cannot walk in the Spirit and in the flesh. We have to choose ye this day whom ye be, who you will serve. If God be God, then serve Him. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I fail, then go send them. My husband used to say, if you want something to play with, <laughs> All right. go to Toys R Us and find a toy, a favorite toy, and take it home and play with him. But you can't play with God. He ain't no toy. He, right. Let me say that properly. Amen. He is Amen. not a toy. Serving yes, Lord. a spirit comes yes. to lead and guide our lives. Yes, Can't figure it out. You will never accept it. Receive him. That's some people's problems. They're so smart and analytic that they try to figure out the how you gonna figure out God. Are you kidding me? Oh, you can't figure him out. Just accept him. Amen. You can't figure him out. Another thing we have to do is surrender. Not, nevertheless, not my will, Lord. Did you hear Jesus say that? Yes, Lord. Nevertheless, God, not my will. But yours be done. You have to surrender. We have to surrender our will to the Holy Spirit. We have to surrender our, our, our will to God. How are you going to try to do something that Jesus couldn't do? You're not Jesus. You have the Spirit living in you. But Jesus was submissive to God. Did you hear him say? Yes, Not my will. Yes, he did. Yes, Lord. Oh, oh, it's going to be, Sister Felicia, um, read St. John 5, 30. I can of myself do nothing. That's what he said. Huh. Read it. Read it so, so, so they can hear that I'm not speaking out of turn. Yes, Lord. Mm. St. John 5, 30. St. John 5, 30. I can of my own self do nothing yeah. as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, yeah. but the will of the Father which hath sent me. That's right. So Jesus had to seek the will of the Father. Mm. Uh huh. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so how how we figure we little blessed earthlings <laughs> chosen and favored we go we go we how we gonna do it yeah. why why do we think we are so special and and and, and you know I I know that we are special. But when we get to a certain Amen. point, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yeah. If Jesus had to seek the will of his father, mm -hmm. eh? and he and the father are one, yes, right. that's what he said, yes, right. I and my father are one. Yes, right. So if he had to seek the will of the father, then what we going to do? How, how, how is it possible for us to figure it out? Not possible. And I don't know why we think we can if Jesus couldn't. Read, read St. John 6, 38. Sister Felicia, please. 6, 38. Here, baby. St. John 6, 38. For I came down from heaven yes. not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. Mm. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. That's clear enough. Glory. <laughs> and he in his lofty majesty reached down, as we said before, and snatched us. Uh -huh. And and he don't call everybody. 
So we are special. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and, and he came down from heaven. From his lofty to throne. And yet, he communicated. Is that what word says, Sister Felicia? Mm -hmm. Read it for me. 38? Yeah, just read it. And I came down from heaven. He came down from heaven. Not to do my own will. Not to do my own will. But the will of him that sent me. But the will of him that sent me. We are not at this point in our lives <clears throat> to do our own will. Right. But the will of him that called us. The will of him that snatched us out of sin and despair and degradation and the gutters and the mire and clay. For his father to help him. Thank but you. we, sometimes when I say, I say, Lord, help me. I walk through my house, and when it seemed like, oh my God, I ain't, I can't do this by myself. Right. Help me, Jesus. Yes, if you walk up in my yard, you say, Pastor, I lost our mind. No, I'm asking for help. I said, Winston, I, you think this is an easy job? I have to ask for help. I cannot do this on my own. It's not me that's doing it. Don't be mistaken. I am not doing anything. It's only by the help, just like Jesus. He had to call to his father. I have to call for help. Help me, God. This one is tough. I can't figure this out. I just give it to you, Lord. And I just walk out on my deck and look at that little patch of water over there and say, I am casting this yes, burden. Lord. In the name, because Jesus. those of you who don't know, you don't know the power of water. Oh, yeah. glory, glory, glory. Sister Tracy, one of these days, I'm going to teach that again. Yeah. Yes. You don't know the power of water, so I just walk on out on my deck. You think living in that house is a luxury. Oh, mom, got this great big house. Are you kidding me? I walk out on that deck as long as God allows me to be there. I can walk out on that deck and I can say, God, take their problem. Yeah. Yes, give it. I, I know how to dispense it and yeah. to send it and to, to put it out there. God, take that problem because I cannot carry it. Jesus. Yes, 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 Lord. You have a problem you, you can't carry and you don't want to, to, to leave behind or, or yeah. set aside. You better find some water and go give it to the water. Oh, somebody said, oh my God, Mom, what are you talking about? Try it. You like it. Amen. Cast it from you. Oh, yeah. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. I'm going to teach that water. I'm going to teach about water. Again, I promise you. And I don't make promises. Cast it to the water. You can't do it by yourself. No. Try to do it by yourself. No, no. Yeah. Jesus was God manifested in flesh. Well, and the example was that Jesus asked God for help. God lives in you, yeah. manifest in flesh. God lives in me, manifest in flesh. Does God live in you, manifesting in flesh? So let Jesus ask him for help. Hallelujah. He will help you. Hallelujah. Just like he helped Jesus. Father, if it be possible, let this come pass. Nevertheless, not my 
my will. It's not my will. It's not my will why I'm standing here this morning. Nevertheless, Lord, not my will, but thine be done. He must have full control. He must have full control. Sister Felicia, read 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Hallelujah. Let me tell them that I'm not talking out of my head. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Nineteen and twenty. Yes, 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 Lord. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians chapter six, nineteen, nineteen through twenty. Yes. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the uh -huh. Holy Ghost, which is you, which you have of God, and you are not your own. Glory. Read it again. Praise God. What? That's a question. What? Mm -hmm. For real? Mm -hmm. Like some of you are, are second guessing me right now. Huh. What? You mean to tell me my body is a temple? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Read it again, Sister Felicia. Read it loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Let them hear. Mm -hmm. What? Know ye not? that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and you are not your own. Amen. Amen. Your body, God lives in your body. So, God is in you. You know what the temple is? The temple. Yep. My body, let me say me. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Did you know that God lives in me? Did you know that where I walk, God walks? Did you know that where I sit down, God sits down? Did you know that as I speak to you, it's not me, it's the power of Almighty God that lives in me? Read it again, Sister Felicia. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What? Do you not know that you, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and you are not your own? That's right. You have it of God. He has given it to you. The same way he lived in Jesus, he now lives in you. Yes, Lord. You see it? Do you get it? Yes, God. So it's so simple. It's so simple. We just have to be able. We can't even comprehend it. Thank you, Jesus. I won't use that term because we can't comprehend God. Oh, All we have to do is accept it and it moves in us and we can feel it. Amen. So how come we can't believe it? Oh. It's simple. We complicate it. We complicate it. We complicate it. His spirit lives in us. Oh my goodness. And all the promises of God are yes and amen. If we read 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, all we have to do is receive it, believe it, <clears throat> trust it, trust him. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians.
choose one. One verse twenty. For all promises of God in him are yea, yeah. and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he says you will do. He will do. Yeah. His word is true. Yeah. He said, we don't have to fear. Ah. I am with you always, yeah. even to the end of the earth. Yeah. So whatever he tells you, uh -huh. all we have to do is say yes. Ah. I will trust you, Lord. Amen. Yeah. Because you didn't give me the Holy Ghost. Yeah, no and you, he doesn't leave us. I know backsliders. I know people who have gone back on God in my life coming up. And they just, they just have forsaken him. And they, they just act like they ne never knew him. And incidents has come up in their lives. And they remember him then. It's amazing how, how we, <laughs> Lord. It's amazing how we can act like God don't even exist. Yeah. Oh. Some of us, no, you know, no, I'm yeah, talking to the atmosphere. Some of us can act like God doesn't even exist. Oh. But when we need something, oh. Oh, Sister Penny, like I told you the other day, my yeah. phone gets oh, blown up. In the name of Jesus. People that don't come to break the light wouldn't be a member here, I don't think. But when something happens, or an emergency happens, some of them call me Sister Hackett, some of them call me Pastor Hackett, some of them call me Mother Hackett, some of them call me, um, hey girl, will you pray for my situation? Because his promise is true. And he responds. Somebody called me about a week and a half ago and it was an emergency they wanted an immediate prayer. An immediate response, just like the young lady at Sister Sherry's job. And, and she said, she told me the situation and she said, Sister Hackett, I want you to pray. I know you can pray. If you pray, God is going to work it out. I said, baby, don't worry. I'm going to pray. And I told God about the situation and I said, God, send the Holy Dad used to say, send a Holy Ghost hound dog. I didn't send no Holy Ghost hound dog. I said, Michael, the mighty warring angel. And 15 minutes later, she called back, rejoiced and said, Sister, I can't. God answered just that quickly. Yes, he, he will never leave you. You can trust him. Yes, he promised to keep you. you. He promised to lead you. Oh, the Holy Ghost is in us to lead and guide us into all truth. Yes, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Just say yes. God will always protect his own. Amen. You don't have to go back to the Bible and read it. Oh, I'm not saying don't read the Bible. Please don't misunderstand me. But in our own lives, Amen. in our own lives, God has done enough for us to know Amen. that he will protect us. Amen. Sister Felicia, go to Deuteronomy 31.6. God wants greater life to walk in the spirit yes, so that he can use us. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Hear me. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Verse 6. Praise the Lord. 
be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the loss, I'm sorry, for the Lord thy God, it is that doeth go with thee. And he will not fail thee, uh-huh. nor forsaken thee. Yeah, Lord. Fear not. Fear not. God is your strength. Hallelujah. I don't care what you're going through. God will bring you through. He is your strength. He will give you grace. He will give you the grace necessary to endure every trial. Everything that he allows you, even that that you put yourself through. Because sometimes we suffer needless pain. And sometimes even what what you put yourself through, God will give you grace to go through. God will forgive you even when you sin against him. His grace, his mercy. When you sin against him purposely, you sin against him, you know you sin against him, his mercy is extended to you to help you and he forgives us. God will never stop loving you. He will never stop loving you. The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. In all your ways, in everything, everything Jesus did, he referred to his father. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. He will tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, when you start walking in the spirit. You will not fulfill the lust of the flesh and God will make himself evident to you. Will you stand with me? God will make himself evident to you. You will be surrendered to his divine will and purpose and he will bring you through because he's a God that doesn't and he lives in you. What profit would it be for him not to carry you through when he gave you his spirit? All he asks you to do is walk in it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, you sent this word to your people. Help us God, to walk in the Spirit. Help us to be surrendered to your will. Help us to listen for your voice. Help us, Lord, when we pray to stop and listen and not to go on and do it the way we think we ought to do it. Help us to yield to your word. In the name of Jesus, Help us, Lord. Help us. We ask you for help today, Lord Jesus. Bless your people. Those who are in the house and those who are in Zoom technology. Bless them, Lord Jesus. Help them to turn their eyes to Calvary. Oh, God, lest I forget Gethsemane. Lead me, Lord, to Calvary where you bled and died so that we can have this privilege to serve you. Help us to recognize 
that we are favored. Help us to recognize that we are prevalent. Oh, God. We look to you today as we leave this place. Help. Let your word be present with us. In the name of Jesus. So that we will be able to do your will. Do what you bid us to do. Do how you bid us to do it. Oh God, draw us closer to you. Closer, Lord Jesus, in your bosom. Find us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. In the name of Jesus, strengthen us. Lord Jesus, help us to recognize. Help us, Lord Jesus, to recognize you. Help us, Jesus, I pray. Help us, Lord Jesus, to meditate on you day and night, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. For this service, we thank you for your presence that's always with us. Help us, Lord, not to take it for granted. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's just stretch our hands towards our pastor. Hallelujah. Sister Patty, if you mind coming a little bit closer. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A little closer, stretch your hands, stretch your hands. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Jesus. 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 Oh,